Hello everyone, my name is Zheng Yi, and today I will present our work Perpetual Humanoid Control for Real-Time Simulated Avatars. Humanoid control is a hard problem, and using humanoid control for avatars makes it even harder. Because now, your humanoid need to match the input signals, such as videos or language. In this work, we would like to tackle two of the main issues in using humanoids for avatar purposes. First of all, you would want your humanoid to be able to perform all spectrum of human motion, like the flips right here. It also need to be robust to noisy input, like poses estimated from videos. Second, when you cannot handle these noisy inputs, how to handle the falls? In this work, we mainly study the motion imitation problem. A controller, given kinematic pose as input, need to produce joint torques to drive a humanoid. And since physics simulators are usually not differentiable, this requires reinforcement learning. The first problem we tackle is generalization, how to learn to imitate almost all possible human motion. First, we'll use the largest human motion dataset in the community, a mass, which contains about 40 hours of uncurated human motion ranging from simple movements like walking, running, and jumping, to hard ones like cartwheeling and backflipping. But when we train a motor imitator on this, we notice that learning all of these sequences at once has a catastrophic forgetting problem. The policy will learn to cartwheel and then forget about backflipping. Here, we present a simple idea. When the performance saturates, we can allocate a new network capacity to learn the remaining hard motion sequences that the current policy cannot perform. And progressively, we can keep shrinking the data set and allocate new primitives. We can keep performing this process, which will give you a sequence of primitives that combined can perform all of the motions in the large data set. After these primitives are learned, we can freeze them and find a way to dynamically switch in between during inference. This is easy as we can use mixture of expert or multiplicative control and learn a composer on top of the trained primitives. A perfect composer should be able to cover the full data set. And this forms our progressive multiplicative control policy. Now that we have solved the generalization problem, the humanoid can still falls down when the input motion become too noisy or too hard. This is also easy in the current framework. We can just add a fail state recovery module. This module will learn to get up from the ground, walk back to the reference motion, and resume motion imitation. Our policy is able to imitate about 98.9% .9 of AMAS without using any external forces, leaving only the hardest ones remaining to be learned. Here, we apply PHC, our controller, to language-driven avatars, and it can chain up multiple utterances using its recovery capabilities without requiring any reset. Using posts estimated from video as input, PHC can drive simulated avatars in real time in both single and multi-person settings and enable multi-person interaction. It can remain robust to noisy input and resume imitation when the input becomes stable again. Thank you for watching, and please refer to our paper and website for more details.